crews are breaking ground on a new affordable housing project. This is in Cape Coral, and that means nearly 100 low-income families will soon have a new place to call home. Fox 4 anchor Chris Shaw is live at the site that will become the new Civita on Pine Island Road. Good morning, Chris. Uh, good morning. The way things stand right now, this is an easy stretch of land to drive past on Pine Island Road. We're just west of Santa Barbara Boulevard, but in a few months, you're going to see a lot of building here. I want you to take a look at some video we shot from just a little while ago. This was the groundbreaking for this project. It is the first time the city of Cape Coral will have a workforce housing development. This is part of the reporting that I've done the last couple of months. I spoke with CEOs and business owners here in Southwest Florida who say affordable housing is our number one economic issue. I also spoke to Senate President Kathleen Pas Pasadomo about a new bill that was just passed in the state legislature to try and open up more money for projects like this to be built. This will be home for 96 families in Cape Coral. These are pictures of what Savitas will look like. Three buildings with one, two, and three bedroom units. All of them will be set aside for people the government classifies as low income. In economic development profession, we have a lot of exciting things happening in terms of job creation and, and investment, but I don't think there's anything as significant and important as something like this with workforce housing. So for a family of four, that means a household income of no more than $64,000. There will also be lower rental rates for families who make less than $40,000 and $27,000 thousand dollars a year. Now, let's put that into perspective because according to rent.com, here in Cape Coral, the average two-bedroom apartment goes for $17.50 a month right now. But per the current HUD guidelines, the most a family will pay for a two-bedroom at Civitas will be $300 less than that. And the people who fall into the two lower income brackets will pay $905 and $575 a month. We need to be able to have affordable housing for employees in the area. Um, and it is something that we're, we're seeing more and more and hearing more and more often. Even next door, I see another apartment building going up. And there are several complexes going up in the city right now. Do you anticipate that will drive down the cost of rentals? Or is this just feeding the need that's out there? So um, we're hoping that in the long term, the number of units that we have coming online will help to um, drive the price down. We're not seeing that yet. There are a lot of roadblocks getting to this point for the groundbreaking today. This plan was actually announced almost four years ago, but the pandemic delayed it. Then there were inflation issues with supply chain and the cost of supplies that got in the way. And then the hurricane also knocked it back a few months. But here we are. And the developer told me today that one year from today, the first building at this complex will open. We're 13 months away from the second building and it will be completed, he says, in 14 months. Once again, this is something Cape Coral has never had in its history. Reporting live in Cape Coral, Chris Shaw, Fox 4 News.